In this Lightboard session, we're going to talk about the state persistence options or state sharing options for when you're using clustering. Clustering means shared memory. So shared memory in MIL terms is when you have the MIL runtime using a, an embedded component called Hazelcast to set up an in-memory data grid between the nodes. So to visualize this, we might have, in this case, two MIL runtimes in cluster mode. OK, so both of these are nodes as part of the same cluster. And that means that when they fire up, they have some configuration that says, talk to the other nodes and make yourself part of the, uh, the, same, the same cluster. So in terms of how to visualize this, you got to kind of think about having some shared memory between these. And this is a thing called Hazelcast. Now, Hazelcast takes care of when a node goes down and then comes back up. It takes care of all the communication that's needed to get it back in sync. So if there were changes made on the remaining nodes and they're talking to the shared memory, then it will make sure that those make it across to the object store and VM queues on the other nodes. Now, it's not magic. It doesn't persist absolutely every piece of data from everything. It, you have to go into that shared memory. So that means going into those object stores. So this is object store and as far as VM queues. OK, and conceptually, you can think of them being on the other side of things. But the important thing is that they're part of Hazelcast's shared memory. Now, it is possible to lose all of your data that's contained within these if you shut down all of the nodes in the cluster. So you need some of the data needs to live somewhere in memory. So if you shut down both these nodes, it will be like it was a fresh start. Now, Hazelcast can be backed with a database. So if you want to keep the state, you can hook it up using JDBC. This is a Java platform. And you can put in some configuration to say, use a database to back the stuff that otherwise would have been lost if you shut down all the nodes. So you can have it survive full server outage, but you need to back it with a database using some additional configuration. But that's the option for an on-prem clustered mule runtime. It uses Hazelcast. You can back it with a database if you want to survive full outages. Otherwise, you need the data to at least remain on one node so that when the other nodes come back up, they can get a copy.